New this Thursday, and this one is a hot talker too. Two South Carolina lawmakers want to ban certain squatted trucks on the state's roads. They say the popular vehicle modification can be dangerous. News 13's Matt Fortin spoke today with one of the co-sponsors of the pre-filed bill. Love them or hate them. Trucks that look like this are not all too hard to find along the Grand Strand in the summer. That could change, though, if this pre-filed bill becomes law. This bill would limit the amount of uh, fluctuation between the rear and back of the vehicle on our state, uh, our state roads. Uh, the reason for being that is because this is a public safety issue. That limit a differential between the back and front of more than five inches when not towing another vehicle. Violation would carry a misdemeanor and a small fine. When a truck is, is elevated in the front so much, uh, the lights blare you right, right in your eyes. When they're extremely elevated, I have a hard time seeing smaller vehicles in front of them. Safety concerns aside, owner of TNR Truck and Auto in Socasty, Ron Tacard, says squatting can cause some major issues on vehicles. Anytime you change the geometry of a vehicle, you put more strain on all the suspension parts, on the transmission, the rear end, uh, all the oil goes back to the back side of the engine. Which can cost a lot of money. Especially on diesel. Diesel, you're looking at 3000 or better every time. Representative May says he worked with mechanics, police, and vehicle owners in developing this pre-filed bill. This is something that I feel could also reduce our highway fatalities. Um, and Representative Wooten and I will be working with our fellow legislators to get more co-sponsors to have the hearing on this bill and hopefully shepherd it through the House and send it to the Senate. North Carolina's governor recently signed a bill that bans similar modifications. That goes into effect December 1st. South Carolina lawmakers return to Columbia for their next session in January. Reporting in Horry County, Matt Fortin, News 13. New tonight, there's a lot of